All right, 2006 Dodge Ram 1500. Uh, I got a pretty much a hard code of P0750. So we're just going to give a shot of the scan tool here. Okay, let me get up close so it'll show. I just have to focus. Okay, there's the P0750 and low reverse solenoid circuit. It's pending because I just cleared the code to see if it would come right back and it did. So there's the 750 low reverse solenoid circuit error. And we're going to go, uh, next we're going to go to the computer to see what pins we have to uh, check to own this solenoid out at the computer. All right, so here is uh, pretty much um, a diagram of that uh, connector. And as you can see, pin number 10 is the low reverse clutch solenoid control. And then we're going to compare it with uh, probably pin number 19, which is the transmission control relay output. So we're going to put the negative lead uh, to number 10, and we're going to put the positive lead to number 19. And we're going to ohm these solenoids out. Probably should get about maybe two ohms, ohm and a half, two ohms. But we'll also compare it uh, to the other ones like uh, pin number two, fourth clutch, multi-select, second clutch. And we're going to see if the readings are all the same. And that way we're checking the wire. And we're checking the solenoid pack. And we'll see uh, how that is. And if it all checks good, we'll uh, kind of see what we're going to do from there. All right, so we're going to head back over to the car underneath the hood, and we're going to go from there. I'll be right back. All right, so I got this uh, computer unplugged. Uh, this is the uh, C4 connector, or the last one. It went all the way down on the bottom. This is one of those new generation computers uh, that has everything incorporated in one. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera on the tripod. I have my uh, uh, meter, and we're going to ohm out the uh, solenoids. Um, pretty much on this side, I'm trying to do this with holding the camera also, on this side is pin 1 and this side is pin 10, so we need pin 10 and pin 19, so it's pretty much just right here and here uh, what we're going to be dealing with, and then we'll, uh, then we'll check the, a few more of them uh, across the top to compare to see if in fact this solenoid pack is bad. Alright, so I'm going to set this up and I'll be back in a minute. Alright, so I'm all set. I'm going to put this meter on two ohms. Okay, so I'm going to go with the negative lead to pin number 10. Okay, I've got to try to hold all this together. And then the other one to pin number 19. All right, one second here. Let me just get a better... So, we're showing 1.5 ohms. So that's, uh, that's pretty good, but what we want to do now is compare it to the other ones. All right, so I think it was like pin 2, 4, 6, so let's try pin number, let's see what happens. I think this is 2. Let's try pin 2. Oh, wait a minute. Have a good connection here. Okay, that's one point. Okay, one point five, one point six. So, all right, that's okay. Now we're going to try another one. That's also one point six. 1.5, 1.6 is, you know, I mean, this is, this is good. So, if I had to say anything, I would say this wire and solenoid pack is probably okay. Let's just check it with one more. Okay, 1.6, 1.5, so 
Let's just check this uh, low reverse one more time. This is a pretty hard code. The code, as soon as you start the car, the code comes right back. Five, so that's not looking too bad. Okay, so what we're going to do now, I mean, it's possible we have a bad computer. Um, looking at a wiring diagram, I think that uh, totally integrated power module, or they call the TIPM, is also involved in this. Uh, but what I'm going to do as a test, since this actually is checking good, I'm going to switch, uh, I'm going to take the uh, wire out of the low reverse solenoid circuit and maybe I'll take the overdrive solenoid or the multi-select solenoid wire out and I'm going to switch them. And at that point I'm going to see what code I get and I believe if I get the same code I probably have an issue with the computer. And if I get a different code, possibly, maybe there is something with the solenoid pack or the circuit. Uh, so let me get kind of set up for that, and then we'll go from there. All right, so I'm going to shut this off, and I will be back shortly. All right, so I switched those two. I switched the low reverse and the underdrive solenoid circuit circuits. I switched those, and now when I rescanned it again immediately, I have a P0765 code now. Let it just focus in there. Let me see if I can get it. There we go. P0765 underdrive solenoid circuit. All right, guys. So on this 545 RFE, uh, the solenoid pack was the problem. And let's just uh, recap real quick uh, to see how I came to this conclusion. Okay, so when I initially scanned the car, I had a PO750, low reverse solenoid circuit error. Okay, at that point, I disconnected the computer. I ohmed out the solenoid. I had 1.5 ohms. I compared that to the other solenoids, and they all had 1.5, 1 1.6 ohms, which is pretty much what it should be. So at that point, I'm thinking, hey, I got a bad computer. But before I put a computer in it, Let's just go the next step to confirm that. So what I did was I cut the wire on pin number 10, which is the low reverse solenoid circuit, and I cut the wire on pin number eight, which is the underdrive solenoid circuit, and I switched the circuits. Now I have the low reverse on pin number eight and the underdrive on pin number 10. Rescanned it, hey, we got a different code. So that's telling me that we have an issue with the circuit. The circuit meaning the wire or the solenoid pack. If the code would have been the same, we would have went after the computer. Uh, so at that point, what I did was I got another solenoid pack, disconnected the one that was in the car. I actually connected it. I hung this, you know, just let it dangle off the side of the uh, car. Um, we got the car running. I had to jump the starter on the middle because this is your rain sensor. Um, put it in, uh, reverse and drive a couple times. I went through the same motions I got for the other code to show up. Uh, Rescanned it and I had no code. So I know right there that the solenoid pack uh, was the issue and it wasn't even a wire uh, because the code, again, didn't come back. So we changed the solenoid pack and we sent the guy out on his way. But pretty much what I did with this is uh, I went the extra step just to make sure that I was correct in my diagnosis but when you think about it the computer the car computer the PCM told me what the problem was because when I scanned that I had a different code so we kind of knew right there that it you know it wasn't the computer um, but it certainly pays to do that this isn't the first time I've seen a solenoid on a Chrysler vehicle or Dodge vehicle, OM OK, and the solenoid pack be the problem. But I always like to double check in my diagnosis before I uh, do anything. And um, sure enough, I went from one direction being a getting ready to put a computer in this thing to going in a totally different direction, changing the solenoid pack and fixing the car. So you always want to go that a little extra bit. Uh, just to double check and make sure that um, 
You are correct. I would think in your in your diagnosis. All right, guys. So uh, <clears throat> thank you for watching once again, and have a nice day.